Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm making some DIY face masks today for every single skin type, so I got you all covered. Most of these are really easy to make and the ingredients are very easy to find for the most part. So hopefully these will be easy for you guys to try out. And we're gonna start with the first one, which is a do-it-yourself clay mask. Bentonite clay you can find, I found mine at Sprouts for about five, four or five dollars for this entire container. And so you're gonna do a few uh, tablespoons and then you're gonna add apple cider vinegar. That's gonna create a reaction. You'll see it'll bubble. It's optional to add a drop or two of lavender oil. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Just these two ingredients together make a very effective face mask. And it's very common with this healing clay that after you use it, you experience a little bit of redness. At first was a little worried about it, but then I read on the instructions that that's actually part of the process and it's okay and it will diminish. So it did and it really did clean out my pores and made my skin look, all my pores look really tight. Um, so I like this because you can make a fresh face mask every time you want to do a clay face mask. And this reminds me of a dupe of the Glam Glow mask, actually. I think it's just as effective. It'll kind of tighten up a little bit, and then you're just gonna take it off with um, a warm washcloth. So now if you have dry skin, this is a mask for you. And this mask can also work for your hair. So it's a half of an avocado and a half of a banana. You're gonna smash those two together and then add some olive oil. You can add some essential oil if you want. I'm again adding a little bit of lavender essential oil. And you can put this in your hair, on your face. It's great for hydrating your hair and your skin. So if you experience dry skin, this is definitely the mask for you. This next mask is an anti-aging retinol spinach facial mask. Spinach is an incredible beneficial green leafy vegetable. It's a source of vitamin C, vitamin E, beta carotene, and several other nutrients that revitalize the skin. So in addition to spinach containing retinol, it has other very effective ingredients for your skin. So we are using spinach leaves, pure honey, extra virgin olive oil, and a little bit of lemon juice. You can put them in any type of blender or food processor you have just until it's completely blended, and then apply that on your skin. Next, we have a mask for combination skin, but this mask is also incredibly brightening. And that's because we have a powerful ingredient, turmeric, which is um, fantastic for your skin. So we have a fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder, one tablespoon of honey, a fourth cup of plain yogurt, and um, you can add optionally two tablespoons of flour to thicken it. I personally didn't need that, but you do wanna be careful with the turmeric because it can stain your clothes. So I would recommend wearing a robe or um, a dark shirt when applying this mask, just in case you drop some. But I loved the effect of this mask. This is definitely one I will make over and over again because I did notice instant brightening after using it. So I would definitely recommend trying this out. All of these masks are relatively inexpensive and I tried to find ingredients that I thought would be a little easier for y'all to find um, and only a few ingredients per mask. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you get a chance to try out one of these for your skin type and I hope it works for you. Thanks so much for watching my channel. Um, subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.